Hello again, Air Gunners. Matt here from Pitbull Air Guns. Uh, last video, we did the trigger job on the receiver while we had it apart, uh, made it nice and smooth. This video, we are going to work on the valve system. Since we've got it all apart, we're going to uh, drill out the transfer port and uh, drill out our barrel a little bit to make the air go through better. Um, the factory port size in the valve is uh, seven, which is a 2.201 inch. We are going to drill this out to an in size letter, which is 0 0.302. So 50% increase in hole size. I'm not sure exactly what that equates to in flow. Um, the school of thinking on transfer port size is usually 70 to 80% of the bullet diameter. Um, you can go less than this and be closer to the 70% mark. What we're going to do is closer to the 80% mark. Um, but we're looking for raw power in this. If you want to start out um, smaller, you certainly can. Um, Tom Kerrigan off of uh, several of the air gun forums is the gentleman that came up with all of this. So please, I'm not taking credit for it. This is all uh, Tom Kerrigan's work. And um, so everybody give a big shout out to him on the forums for working through all of this. I've taken a little bit past what he started, but uh, he's he did all the pioneer work on this. So anyway, um, let me get this set up in the mill and we'll show you what needs to be done. Ah, side note. This does not have to be done in the mill. You could take this and put it in a vise and use a drill and just drill straight through. Just take it nice and slow. Um, the first thing you're going to have to do is take out the transfer port. Now we've already done that. There's a little plastic transfer port uh, sleeve that's in there. We've already done that when we did the teardown. Um, so go back and watch that video if you need to. But the, the hole size that's in there when we're done is a really good fit for that in size drill bit. Um, let's see, an O, P will both fit through the thread holes but not into the transfer. So you could possibly go all the way up to a Q without messing with the uh, um, threads. And a Q is a size 0.332, but that's getting really close to the same size diameter as a bullet. Um, a pellet would probably not work in that. You'd probably damage the pellet if you were shooting long bullets, um, you know, 130 grain, 120 grain or better, especially like those big 174 grains, things like that. You'd probably be okay, but you you would still take a chance on having some problems. So the 301 is a, the in size letter is still a good size and it fits right in the transfer port hole and you have, the only thing you're drilling out is the actual aluminum valve that's in here. Let me see if I can show you here. You can see the valve in there. Let me take, I'm gonna stick a drill bit. This is the drill bit that fits the, uh, fits the hole in the valve. And you should be able to see it down in there, right there. You can see the drill bit sticking in there. So that's where we're, that's the only piece we're actually drilling out. Okay, on a side note, if you look at the depth of that drill bit, you wanna make sure that you don't go any deeper than that. If you do, it could damage the bottom of the valve. Okay, so we've drilled out our, we've drilled out our valve. Just a size comparison. Here's the size difference between what it was and close to what it is. This is actually an M size, not an N, but it's only like seven thousandths difference. So pretty big difference in um, port size, airflow, all of that. Um, we have a nice, smooth, clean hole. If you need to make sure that when you're doing this, inspect it really close down in there with a, get a good light. Make sure you don't have any burrs. Um, 
If you're feeling really, really ambitious, you can get in there and try to radius those corners. Um, my recommendation, unless you're willing to pull that valve out, don't mess with it. Use a really good sharp drill bit, make a nice smooth straight hole. Um, I can tell that that hole, I use a carbide tungsten bit and they are really sharp and make a really clean, there's, there's no ribs or anything, there's no chatter. Um, that's the one drawback you get into when using a drill bit. You can get some chatter and you get rings in there. Um, the smoother the airflow, the better. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the barrel. This is where our transfer port met up into the barrel. And again, we're gonna go from a very small hole to a .302 hole. You can actually see sometimes the line on the barrel where the transfer port has been rubbing and you can see what you're going from and going to. The other thing we're gonna do, as soon as we get done with that, we're going to take a real small carbide bit. You can use a stone. You can use whatever you want, but we're gonna go in here, we're gonna radius just this front edge um, so that as the air comes in, it has a nice smooth port to go around. If you look at the bolt, it has, it already has that. It has the uh, a little cup area specifically for that. So as it fits in, it's scooping that air towards the bullet. And we're just gonna help that along by uh, making a radius. Our hole inside is gonna end up kind of a uh, egg shaped. On the outside here, it's gonna be round. On the inside, it's gonna be kind of egg shaped and longer towards the front. Okay, we've got our uh, barrel drilled to the size that we need. Now we are going to, uh, well, one thing. So you can see how the transfer port, let's see if we can get that. Hopefully you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. You can see how the radius lines up with that transfer port really nice. So again, we're gonna take our small little carbide bit and we're going to come in here and we're going to radius this corner just a little bit. And it looks pretty hard to do when you start, but as you start taking this front edge material down, you'll be amazed at how far you can get around there. Okay, we're back in our fixture, in our vise. I've got it fairly loosely attached so I can rotate it and do what I need. Some of you guys that are very observant will notice that the O-ring is still in the breech. Um, I'm going to change that out. I have a better O-ring, a 90 durometer O-ring that we put in there anyway. And so I'm using that just to protect myself so I don't um, hit that area on accident. It, it'll be just a stop for me. I haven't done it yet, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? So here we go. Okay, folks, we are done. Um, just so you can see I still have to clean up and, and get all the metal shavings out of everything. We need to clean this up, but uh, I, that's pretty self-evident. You gotta make sure you get all the metal shavings out of there. The next thing we're gonna do, and I probably won't show it on camera because it's basically just uh, a lot of stroking, but uh, get you some barrel polish and polish up inside in the barrel. Um, there's other things that you can do, but we're getting into nitpicky stuff now. But uh, anyway, um, you can see I don't know if the cameraman can get in there and see how much more area we have. Maybe we can do a before and after comparison and really see how much more area we have for air to flow. I mean, it's, it's massively different. So that will let you, with a stock spring, you can get 230-ish pretty easily. If you put a spacer on your spring, um, a little quarter inch spacer at the bottom of the spring, you can hit 260 foot pounds of ease energy pretty easily. Um, we're coming, we've got a new spring that's already here and I need to test it. Uh, the, the maker wants us to call it the Silky, Silky Smooth Spring. Um, he's got one 
This one is, uh, he's hit over 300 foot pounds of energy with it. And now he's got an even bigger one for guys that want to shoot at close to 4,000 PSI. He's getting, he's pushing 140 something grain bullet over a thousand feet per second. So 315 foot pounds of energy, something like that. And that's not to even mention what you could do with, with helium. So we're, I mean, we're uncharted territory here. So I, I have some helium and I promise you we will try it. Um, so I think that's it for now. Um, we'll come up with our next lesson soon. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.